you ever want to bring an alligator to school. Don't bite Elise Parsley. If your teacher tells you to bring something from nature for show and tell, she means a hollow stick or a bird's nest or some sparkly rocks. She does not want you to bring an alligator. If you bring an alligator anyway, she'll tell you that alligators are trouble. She'll, you'll tell her that it's okay and that you know all about alligators. This alligator will be quiet and good and he won't eat anyone cross your heart. But during spelling, your teacher will hear laughing. This is because the alligator will be showing you funny pictures. Your teacher will write your name on the board, Magnolia. And now you'll have to stand last in line for lunch. You'll take away the crayons and tell the alligator to be quiet and wait for show and tell. Then during art, an airplane will fly across the room. This is because the alligator will be showing you origami. Your teacher will draw a check by your name, Magnolia with a check. And now you'll have to stay in from recess. You'll take away the paper and order the alligator to be good and wait for show and tell. During math, you'll notice the alligator is hungry. You'll give the alligator three pieces of your favorite gum and beg him not to eat anyone and for Pete's sake to wait for show and tell. The good thing is that you'll stop him from eating any kids. The bad thing is that the alligator will smack and twirl the gum. And your teacher will notice she'll draw two more checks by your name and an underline. Now you'll have to go to the principal's office after school. During lunch, you won't even get to eat your egg and cheese sandwich because somebody will gobble up everything but the crust. Of course, you'll wish you'd brought a hollow stick or a bird's nest or some sparkly rocks for show and tell instead of an alligator. By now, you'd rather have some dirt than an alligator. You will wish this alligator would just go home. But here's what I would do if I were you. First, at show and tell, you'll sit quietly and learn about hollow sticks and bird's nests and sparkly rocks. Then it'll be your turn. You'll tell how alligators are super big and how alligators are super tough. It's a fact. They're strong and they're tough and they, are, they aren't scared of anything except other alligators and humans. Blah, 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 blah. Your teacher will be impressed. You might not even have to go to the principal's office for all the mischief that day. But then again, you might have to go. Yeah, if you ever want to bring an alligator to school, don't. They're trouble. You've been listening to If You Ever Want to Bring an Alligator to School, Don't! by Elise Parsley.